As a former prosecutor, I'm telling you, My Cousin Vinny, hands down, the most accurate legal movie of all time. But not only that, the courtroom presentation by Joe Pesci, I mean, this is like a seasoned litigator. His movement around the courtroom is what I want everybody to pay attention to in this scene right here. Uh, Do you remember what you had? Eggs and grits. Eggs and grits. I like Right there. He, he switches his head. He looks over at the jury. Up until that point, he had just been talking to the witness. So he looks over at the jury that catches their attention. That's just human nature. When someone looks your way, you tend to look. Grits too. How do you cook your grits? You like them regular, creamy, or al dente? Regular? <laughs> just regular, I guess. Regular. Instant grits? No self-respect and suddenly uses instant grits. Oh, the jury's totally engaged now. I take now. pride in my grits. Even the witness looked over. So and they do that too. Tip. Because witnesses, when they notice that you start talking to the jury and you're making a point, they start talking to the jury and making a point. And good witnesses almost always look over at the jury the entire time that they're testifying because you're not talking to the attorney. You're supposed to be talking to the, to the jury. Matter of fact, something I used to do as a trial attorney is if I really wanted my witness to talk to the jury and they weren't doing a good job at it, I would go position myself back behind the jury. So just to look at me and project their voice to me, they would have to look the jury's direction and talk loud enough for the jury to hear how could it take we you go. five minutes to cook your grits when it takes the See, entire he's not asking grit a question eating anymore. world he's over 20 there minutes. having a conversation with the jury? The courtroom is right. I don't know. Attention. I'm a fast cook, I guess. I'm a fast I'm sorry, cook. I'm sorry, I was all the way over here. I couldn't okay, hear right you. Here, you're a fast cook. Let's stop here. Even if this wasn't some pivotal Perry Mason moment where he's getting the witness and it was just some mundane, boring testimony, but you wanted the jury to pay attention to it, maybe it was like a DNA expert or a firearms expert, the movement, the fast-paced walking from the jury box back over to the witness, that, that makes a jury wake up and pay attention because believe it or not, the jurors fall asleep during the trial. They are struggling to stay awake and you know a lot of it's boring. That's it? Are we to believe that... Oh, I love this. That boiling Are we water to soaks believe... into a grit fast... Are we to believe A, B, and C? So not only is he talking to the jury, he's basically making himself a member of the jury now. And these little things are not something that uh, are just happenstance. I'm sure Joe Pesci, he, he prepared for this, the script writer, whoever wrote this. Like... As a trial attorney, you're using these things and not overusing them. But this movement, walking over to the jury, making yourself part of the jury, are we to believe? You know, instead of is the jury to believe? I mean, th this is a master in class your kitchen right here than on any place on the face of the earth. I don't know. Well, perhaps the laws of physics cease to exist on your stove. Were these magic You know, magic you don't always grits? go over the top like that. I mean, did you buy them voice inflection, from the same guy back, who sold Jack talking to the jury his again, but he so knows he's beat. making a point. <laughs> oh, to even go over, now he's even laughing at the prosecutor in the courtroom. I mean, to come over and talk to the other attorney, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I have done that before. Objection sustained. Are you this sure is about the that five minutes? No other question. He's, Are you sure he's about that five minutes? I don't know. A lot of I times you don't lie to him. Are you sure? Woo! Drop the mic? That's like drop the gavel. When you get the judge to say you've made your point as an attorney, you've made your point, man, does anything hit a jury harder than that? That's the um, judge is a referee supposed to be impartial, but when they say that and the jury goes, damn, even the judge agrees with this attorney. Huge. Master class by Joe Pesci. Are you sure about them five minutes? Are you sure about them five minutes? I may have been. Man, you ain't sure about them five minutes. You might be mistaken.